Oh hey, I didn't see you there. My name's Cam and today I'm going to teach you how to rugby kick. Like a pro. This is the ball I prefer to use. Um, it's my new uh, Gilbert size 5 Victor TR. Real good, nice and um, pumped, not too pumped, too much pop. Alright. Uh, so, like the real master, you've got to have the good kicking teeth. And me, I like to get height under the ball so I can go like that. So, I like to use multiple teeth to get the real height and the velocity under the ball. So when I do my run-ups for my kick, I like to do three steps back and two across because that gives me more power when I kick. So I'll go one, two, three back, and one, two across. Now I steer the ball, steer at the post, and I want to get a good angle of release with my leg to the ball, make some nice good power. So here we go. You use random practice when you're taking goals because you never know where the goal will be on the field at the time. For Rugby place kicking is an open yeah. skill because the rain, the wind, the, the grass can affect your kick. Whereas an, a closed skill will be like a Rubik's cube, nothing can affect you. Rugby goal kicking is a cognitive learning stage because performances are inconsistent and they vary as every kick goes. This skill is discreet because it has a very clear beginning and end. For example, the beginning is when you put the ball on the tee, you take the steps back, you run up, you tell Josh to move, Look at the post and you try and hit the clean eye. And that's the end.